Okay, so uh, going on to our next point, with that, uh, creating CAD lines. So in CATIA, NX, um, and then Multicad as well, we can create lines to show, um, in 3D CS we can show these lines to kind of better differentiate a fixture or uh, show our locators in a move show. Um, so when we're doing a report later on, maybe in our part three, we can show this, you know, advanced. Um, it'll actually show a part when we do show only in uh, MTMs, show only MTMs available. So uh, that's the reporting side. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go into Katia, and I am going to... So what you're saying is you can use CAD lines to model fixtures in your model. So if you're doing an assembly, because 3DCS, one of the great things about it is it allows you to simulate manufacturing processes, not, not just design. So we can actually show each assembly step with the fixture. So we can take a part, move it to a fixture, and then move that into an assembly and show step by step, including fixtures and any variation or any processes the fixtures are involved with along the way. Yeah. And this is one method you can use to, to show those fixtures. So I'm just bring this out. This is going to be a couple times I'm going to use this. So creating lines. And before I did this, I went ahead and created these three points, the upper B, lower B, and side B. Um, so if I go into creating a line, here's my line definition. I just have to do point to point. So I'm going to go right to one and side B1 is my first line. Where was this uh, dialog box, the wireframe dialog box? It was in, I'm sorry, I usually just double click on a part and it goes right into it. Oh, but in order to do that, you can do the same thing, double click on this part, uh, and then go to your start menu, and go to shape, and there's your GSD, or generative shape design that modifies wall wireframe. Uh, so here's the wireframe toolbar. You go right to the point, or line to line. You create the upper B, side B, Um, side B to the lower, oops, and then uh, lower to upper. There's my triangle. There's a, uh, a wireframe that I can specify or wanted to show in 3DCS. This on. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to change the shape or the thickness so I can see it. pink, make it a 5 thickness, and then switch over to 3CS, and then update model geometry. And I think the benefit of this is just not for tooling, it's a visualization tool. I mean, you wouldn't need to have complete design on any of these parts, the upper and lower control arm. It could just be visualized. And that's what we're doing here is providing a visual representation. We're not reinventing the wheel. We're using CATIA's functionality. But this is the benefit of an integrated tool. You have basic design features, design capability that works seamlessly with 3DCS. So once again, to increase comprehension, to give a better feel for what is going on, and whether it's tooling or a part, it really doesn't matter. And to follow up on that, we've actually seen uh, applications where, uh, where, for example, only the points of it will be provided for tooling or for, for parts. Sure. And you can use CAD lines to help you visualize what you're working with or to help create the fixtures for a set of points. Um, set of points that you might have been given from the design team before the parts have even been created in CATIA. That's exactly right. Okay, perfect. All right, so now we got these CAD lines in here. I updated CGR. Now I just have to move this thing one more time and now I'm going to build and deviate. We can see that the, uh, the, the part is deviating. It actually has something to move to now. I'm going to turn my points mesh back on. You can see this just a little bit better. And it's just for uh, displaying a fixture or displaying uh, the move parts better. Okay. 
Okay. So next we have leveraging our embedded GDT. And this has a lot of uh, impressive things to go about it. So first I'm going to actually show how this is created. Um, in Katia, they have this function called uh, the, um, Tolerance Advisor. So I'm actually going to do some creation here in the frame. So you're going to make you're going to make GDNT in Katia. Yep. And then you're going to pull that GDNT over into 3DCS. Correct. From Katia. Yep. So um, now I'm going to switch over to uh, my FTNA workbench. So function intelligence and annotation, and the dialog is called the Tolerance Advisor. So right now I have nothing in this frame. There's no 3D or uh, FTNA. So I'm going to use create just a, a plane, or I'm sorry, a datum right here on this these two features. So my Tolerance Advisor is going to show me I can create uh, all these features. I'm going to so all these features on those two planes. I just want to make a datum. From here, I can add a datum, uh, datum target. Add this as a uh, datum reference frame. And then on this side, I want to be able to Add it right here. Um, add a profile. Just a profile tolerance. Make it at two. And so we got my profile. There it is. Where is it? All right. Well, my datums are all here. So there's my data A. My uh, profile talents will show up in uh, 3D, 3DCS. 